Hi, it's Volon Blah One here again. Now I want to show you a quick cool trick I'm using at times, and that's by utilizing uh, bouncing when it comes to radiosity. Now there are three light sources in this scene. Three intentional light sources. While there are just two actual lights, there are three light sources. Alright? So let me explain what this means. Alright, so here we are inside that studio, and one of the lights is, of course, the one from, from the ceiling, the ceiling light. That's one light source, alright? Now, another one is the fill light from the front. That's the soft box from the front here. There we go. Now, a third light source is actually this plane behind here. A huge plane here and since this particular set didn't have any back wall I would figure that the lighting as I'm using radiosity here the lighting would not bounce back onto my model so I added this and I, I added the same texture as the walls but actually you don't, you don't need to do that you can add just a plane that's white or colored in, in, in any color you want that's going to bounce back your lighting. Alright, so you can add light sources without adding more lights. And that's going to save you rendering time. Because radiosity doesn't care if there's another plane in here. It's going to scatter around anyway. So while that's happening, you can just add that additional light source. So that's the trick you can use to um, control your lighting, to mold your lighting in your scene. You can use planes or any objects that you carefully, intentionally place where you want additional light to be. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.